Well, hello everybody, it is me, Postmodern Cowboy, and I'm back with, what are we on now? Episode number 11, I'm pretty sure, of Going Medieval. This is Ravensworth Castle on the Richmond seat. It's Richmond with a capital R, for those of you who want to recreate the seat. Um, we're going to hop right into it here because um, it's going to be a uh, busy session, I think. We didn't get too much done last time. I uh, fought some bandit raids, planted some crops. It's um, first harvest has to go right now. I'm just going to stop the timer and set that up. But... Um, yeah, we're going to continue working on the keep, uh, hopefully finish the Great Hall this episode, um, and uh, perhaps uh, some smaller projects in addition to bringing in the harvest. And yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll see how far we get. It is, uh, what, spring 10, so we're going we're gonna, to we're gonna play through summer here, um, which means we're expecting a heat wave. I'll actually check right now to double check. All my people are dressed for summer. That's super important. You want your people to be dressed for uh, inclement weather if it happens. Okay, and somebody's already harvesting there. That's good. So, who's on? Oh, they are all on harvest. Okay, let's just uh, let's roll time here. I think I had the right idea when I uh, when I saved last time. We got what? Well, we got carrots up. We get cabbages up. Barley's up in four, almost five days. The, uh, these are what, 12 days, really? Seven days? Yeah, okay, so it's going to be a long time in the berry bushes. That's um, perhaps to be expected. I'll just have them... Uh... There they go. All right. So yeah, we're going to need to uh, we're gonna need to bring in the harvest, and then we're going to need to cook like mad. Um, so that we can um, have, uh, this season we won't need animal fodder, we're going to need uh, lots of prepared food um, so that we can have as much time in the winter to do uh, construction and mining as possible, do that like, sort of extra work. Because we're spending a lot of time just on, uh, on crops and crop management and, and so forth and such. Um, now I did, I did uh, get a tip from somebody um, about taming animals, and that's something I'm going to try doing this, oh the Deer are eating the berry bushes. This is this is the tip. The tip is if you place edible things around, animals will come and eat them. Um, and so you can attract animals to certain areas. Um, you know, if you put like mushrooms in a pen, uh, you can get animals to enter the pen. And that's what we're going to do here today uh, is build an animal taming pen somewhere outside the wall. Probably right here. If I, I might start blocking that out now. I'm gonna make the, the taming the paddock. Make the paddock out of stone. Let's see, is there a better place for it? Not really, to be honest. It's a bit of a small area. Might as well put it there. And so I'm gonna leave some space. So there's gonna be an additional wall course that goes in there, and I want, uh, just for aesthetic reasons, it to be spaced out from the existing fence. Now, I can go up to there, and we'll go across there. Yeah, so, what does that leave us? Yeah, it's a grid of three by perfect. In fact, let's cancel these. And then I'll start putting some gates in. Where are they? Gates are also there. Theoretically, this will make it easier for um, my tamer to access animals. If I manage to attract them into the pens, close the gates while they're eating, he can just go in there and tame when he wants to, as opposed to having to like, run across the map and find them. This is the suggestion. I think it will work. Okay, they've brought in the food, they've done the harvest, now what are they working on? They're hauling. That's fine, I guess. Take them off harvest priority though. Good they got through that in one day. Um, haul priority can stay up, but perhaps I will have 
them go back to their assigned tasks, which were like construction and crafting. I forget who I had crafting. Um, we're gonna leave Christian on cooking right now. And we'll have Elmer seems to be a crafting guy. Yeah, looks like it. And Seward should go back to animal husbandry. Yeva can go do some, oh, Yeva is an animal husbandry person too. Um, Yeva can go back and do some crafting if there's no animals to interact with. That seems about right. And then we'll, we'll get, we'll get more limestone blocks out and, um, some construction done. Now, what are the others doing? I, I think they're just hauling. That's fine. That's fine. This may actually be a fairly productive season, given how quickly they tore through the, the harvest. Oh, it's armor sitting out here. Are all my armor racks full now? Is that what's going on? Yeah, there weren't that many. And my chest's full? Yeah, my chests are full too. Okay, so more storage is going to be in order. Um, I can certainly put some storage for things in the basement. And that would be a good idea here. Let's just drop some wooden chests around yeah that's fine i don't care uh in there too and that'll at least allow them to like put clothes away and I, I think i think armor can be placed in chests i should double check that actually before i commit to, yeah warfare stuff can go in chests so i might even put chests in the sort of like ward rooms here I added signs, right? I completely forgot that there are now signs. I don't, I don't intend to use them right now. There's no, I don't see a need for a sign. It's not a multiplayer game, right? You can be like, welcome to, you know, it's just, it's just RP stuff, but I'll put the chests there and there. And then downstairs in these uh, ward rooms, we can put a number of chests. Use the storage, that's fine. As soon as this this floor of keep is done, um, we're gonna be working on uh, the second level in this tower, and really like bringing the whole castle together. I think this tower is actually gonna turn into a uh, chapel or something. Okay, how are they doing on the cookery here? Oh, they're cooking away. That's good. Animals are fed. It's great. Are these red just because they can't be reached? Yeah, they are. Okay. And the floors underneath them need to be done as well. It's going to take a while, I think. Oh, there's a merchant here. Uh, let's see what the merchant has for us. If there's anything we can buy to speed up. There's a lot of items now. Look at all the goats and random things in my stockpile. Let's see. Merchant won't trade for that. So what would I be looking for? I don't want meat, mead, herbs, black seed, cabbage seed. No, 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 this guy doesn't have much. Okay. I would, uh, I would buy uh, limestone blocks just to speak construction along at this point in time. Um, that's going to be a major priority. This, uh, this, this coming winter is getting limestone blocks prepared. So that we can do the uh, the second course on the outside of the castle wall. Um, that'll that'll be episode twelve or thirteen. I'm just gonna keep going on these. I'm doing you know one or two a week, taking my time. But I I, I want to get this whole settlement together. I think it'll be really cool when it's done. Hence the the evolution of the of the castle. You know through video will uh, the great perspective great perspective and how how I got to where where I wind up. Um, yeah, yeah, if you could build that section, that would be good. We've got lots of everything at this point in time, I think. There's not too much I'm short on. Um, stone, always short on stone. There isn't really a... They're going out here. I'm going to run out of stone pretty soon. 
And we're gonna have to do some mining again. Well, I get through probably one more day of cooking before I switch everybody over. I don't want these these things to spoil. Right, eight hundred cabbages, five hundred carrots. Like that's that's a lot of food. We could we could potentially prepare for the season. So they were building the chests there. Yeah, chests are built. Cool. Very cool. The chests in the basement get built. Not yet. We even put chests in the rooms here. I've got weapon racks, but I don't have... I also put armor racks, I guess, rather than chests at this point in time. Maybe that makes more sense. In each of the bedrooms. And again, I can uh, at some point go through and um, curate what individual racks are are holding. Let's... Okay, we're gonna run out of beds soon too. I think if we get one more joiner, we won't have enough beds in the community. So I, I really want to get this uh, this castle floor done. Down now, I guess. I'm sure that that keep wall is walkable right now. So we can use it to. I think they can walk on top of blocks, but I'm not. I'm not actually sure. So I'm going to make it a. Technically, this is all going to get covered, right? Like, this, that's... This, this part, I'm not so sure on what's going to happen there, but... And when done crafting too. And the crafters, if they run out of things to craft, should be mining. And the constructors, if they run out of things to construct, should be mining. That makes sense. Oh, my gates are still not built, eh? That's not good. I should probably assign that urgently to... I don't want to get a raid and realize I don't have gates. Could have probably replanted the cabbages, eh? Who gets tasked with that? Who's my growing person? Christian is the growing person. It's uh, outside here.
Oh, they're getting that done. They are getting that done. That is impressive. It's very impressive. I think the Great Hall is getting finished this episode. That'll be nice to have a kitchen in the castle, finally. I can turn this uh, this building into craft workshop and... Oh yeah, that'll be some extra housing, maybe. They're replanting. <laughs> Bless me. Yeah, so the deer congregate around my berry patch. I don't care if they eat the berries. It's good. It's good to have deer hanging around. Like, there's meat there. If I wanted to, I could pen them, but I don't, you know, I don't care. Looks like mushrooms are also growing in the, uh, the, the planned paddock, which I gotta wait for the constructor to get around to it. I guess it's gonna be a while. The armor's getting picked up as, uh, as the chests get completed. Things are being brought inside finally. At some point, I'm going to wind up scrapping all that, right? There's going to be like, uh, you know, probably this winter, um, uh, one or two people tasked to uh, taking it to the uh, various benches and dismantling things, because that's a thing you can do to get resources back. And like, that just makes sense. I don't need a bunch of, what, low-quality light armor, male helmets, like, um, but that does become, like, iron and uh, leather, so... Doors there are done. All my doors done. I'll be surprised. Yeah, it looks like they got... Yeah, that's good. That's very good. Summertime! Gonna be back at this game, and you know, I, I, I take, I take a few days away from it to, you know, a couple weeks maybe sometimes. Um, but I keep coming back, and it's just, it's just always so enjoyable. I get to, you know, I, I, I get to feeling like, uh, like Viserys um, from the new, uh, new House of the Dragon, the new Game of Thrones. You know, building my little, building my little model castles um, peacefully and quietly, wishing the world would just leave me alone. But it won't, will it? It won't. Um, <laughs> Time marches forward. But, you know, today I get to build, so. That's a great show. It's actually a great show. It's like, uh, you know, it, it's a good Crusader Kings playthrough. That's what I'll say. <laughs> it's, you know, he, Viserys winds up, uh, winds up with leprosy. Like, there's, it's, you know, wearing a mask. It's, it's very identifiable um, genre uh, tropes. Um, from like that that um yeah it was specifically from crusader kings but i i assume there will be uh, a very detailed um crusader kings mod for house of the dragon uh, sooner rather than later so i can't be the only one who sees that oh he's building the chest there that's good Okay, they're planting away. When's that up? Flax is up. The barley's up in one day. So I'm going to do the barley and flax at the same time. Um, we'll bring in both those harvests and we'll replant them. And we'll get a second crop of both before the end of the season. I don't really need a second crop of flax, to be honest. but so I may not, but I, I have how much linen now. Metric fuck tons of linen. That's how much I have. How are things going in the Great Hall? Oh, they are getting that floor done. Good. Very good. I don't know what happens. What's holding them back? Building can't be reached. That's what's holding them back. Not enough allowed resources. Allowed re they need wood. And the building can be right. I don't understand what's going on here. 
Oh, perhaps the building cannot be reached. That's what's going on with my Great Hall right now. Let's just open uh, a corridor there. That may be my fault entirely. Ha <laughs> ha Look, now they can reach all the furniture. That's what was going on. Like, why aren't they... It's because they... It's my bad. Totally my bad. Really don't like these candelabra. Yeah, they're not entering the room to build. And now, yeah, now, okay, now everything's reachable. Okay, that's good. See? I just didn't provide them access, and I, I they had them close off their access. It's silly. Silly of me. Okay, now that said... Put a double door in the... they open it, I guess. Put a couple more banners in there, why not? Now that they can access them. I didn't know why they weren't. Makes so much sense, though. Alright, we got banners on those walls. Let's put some banners at the foot of the room. Well, let me space these right, because there's going to be a double door there. So we'll put Banner there, and a banner there, and a banner there, and a banner there. Yeah, perfect. That'll look real nice. Food reserves and stockpile, though. What? I guess that's not. No, that's not possible. Yeah, that's not possible. There's 47 cooked meat there. I guess that won't last too, too long, but these guys will get back to cooking in a second. Once they plant my carrots. This room's going to be a kitchen in here off the Great Hall. That's the plan anyway. A kitchen with a stairwell access, which I should put into the uh, just use regular limestone. But I will use block stairs. Why? Oh, there's, there's uh... a. <laughs> okay, fine, fine. Yeah, that's good. To the herb garden access to the herb garden direct oh we got a cow where's my cow kevin kevin the cow uh, it's a cow named after me uh that's hilarious so where's where's the cow Currently being roped into the pen. Okay, we're breeding cows now. So. And we're building the taming paddock. This is great. This is great. It's, uh... All right. So because I've got two cows now, I'm going to build a cow pen somewhere out, somewhere in a, probably over here.
or I could just turn I could just turn the flax fields because I'm probably not going to need flax again. Um, I could turn the flax field into the cow pen and put a barn in it. That's what I'm going to do. Start blocking that out. It's going to be double doored barn. That big. Do that wide. tool here that's good you don't need a barn that's just is just purely going to be a, an aesthetic choice um, for cow farming but um, that's you know where their foods are gonna be it probably will ultimately help me like manage them Oh, Buttercup lives long enough to have babies. She's three years old now. This is going to be a day where a lot of stuff gets done, I think. If I get a second sheep, I can create a sheep paddock, too, somewhere. I don't need a, a wall here, anyway. They get right to dismantling, that's great. I think it's a uh, barley day too. It is barley day. Okay. So harvesting, unfortunately, that's too bad. I just I just got everybody working together properly, but uh, harvesting is the priority, so we can get a second planting in. And I'm literally gonna screw up everybody's schedules. I wish there was a way to save an entire list of schedules, so you just like quickly reassign by reloading. That would be cool if you're paying attention, Foxy Voxel, saving a whole community's schedule as like uh, a plan for a specific day would be fantastic. Uh, to be honest, hauling should be number three, shouldn't it, so that they replant. Gonna delete these flax rows so they don't get replanted. And just assign a harvest to yeah, there we go. Well, I guess there's stuff in the barn, isn't there? There we go. Perfect. Cool. 
We're making vinegar out of mead. That's that is what it is. We're we're running low on mead again. I've got lots of fermenting mead, but it's spoiling faster than maybe I should maybe I should make a wine cellar. Surprised we haven't had a crop blight or a heat wave from summer day three yet. Oh, oh, someone's coming. Smart guy. Intellectual, a weary courtesan. All right, Martin. Martin Burroughs the gigolo. Welcome to the community. Okay, we'll set him up with everything he needs. A schedule. Like everybody else. Let's check his... Uh, special abilities here. He's just, he's ruthless. That's his special ability. Um, that's not, um, that's not bad, I guess. He's good at bargaining. Um, he's smart and he's good at bargaining. Okay. I can, I can work with that. And we're just going to copy and paste everybody else's, uh, Oh, he's got some proficiencies, construction proficiency, growing, harvesting, animal husbandry, cut plants, cooking, smithing. Martin is a jack of all trades. That's pretty cool. I'm going to put them on the same schedule as everybody else. And I can't copy these, I don't think. So I'm going to have to set up his... Um, we're going to give him what are his weapon proficiencies. He is better slightly at melee. He's not really good at fighting either way. So we're going to give him a ranged weapon anyway. Um, and try to get that skill up. I haven't done any training with these guys at all. But we'll give him a ranged weapon. Um, no shields. Uh, give him access to all headgear. Uh, make sure he has summer clothes on, uh, make sure he wears armor, and he wants to eat meals as a priority. Okay, and because we get an extra set of hands, send those two back to cooking. Oops, that's not what I wanted to do. Still have bad smartens a little fucked up. His health is uh mood's improving. His blood's going up. Alright, he's he's fine, he'll live. Everybody else is gonna haul. Tomorrow's gonna be the the hauling day. It's like you know, the schedule just keeps getting pushed forward. I, I had a couple days where we, we ran in construction, but it just just wasn't uh just wasn't enough. Maybe I can put this door in now. Yeah, that's that's nice. Okay. Berries are up in a day. That's nice. Barley and carrots are mostly replanted, I think. Yeah, mostly. Not entirely, but mostly. Double check my animal feed levels here. Oh, we are getting low on animal feed, so we're going to need to make more animal feed for the winter. Should probably start that... Food cooking first, but... Let's have 300 animal feed. And make sure that that's not using barley. Probably 
expand this now, eh? Yeah, we've got a tower full of hay. That's good. You know, if we do run into animal feed, the uh, the hay will carry me for several seasons, I think. Oh, boy, the beets came up. And the berries are going to come up. This is like, okay, I, I kind of get, yeah. It's, it's a busy season of, of growing and harvesting. Um, it's hard to get all the construction work done, really. That tree should not be there. I'm actually going to extend the road there. And we're going to make it a little aesthetic when somebody gets around to it. Let's see, I want a limestone fence running down either side of the road. Just like that. Merchant caravans arriving, that's cool. And I'll put a couple of stone brick braziers. Yeah, that'll look nice. Bounding in the orchard there. Okay, and we can put now a pen marker, an animal pen marker in the cow pasture here. And because it's a cow pasture, I can actually probably just grow some barley in it, which will give the cows a uh, primary food source. All right, that's, that's smart. Still hauling in that other barley. Okay, let's see what the merchants got on offer. Come on, Come on do the thing. Do the thing. Sometimes you get a teller a couple times to go. Looks like he's got limestone bricks for sale. Seeds, lots of seeds, which I don't need. Merchant is selling ice blocks, which I'll buy. And 107 limestone bricks, which I'll buy. So we're at 4,400 there in gold. He's got 40 mushrooms, which I'll buy. And we haven't even got the packaged meals yet. That's like kind of end game food production. Don't need the leather. I think we're good on everything else. So what do I sell them? I need to sell them some gold, I guess. That's the... No idea where that is. And I wish you could search. That would be cool. Gold ingots. Uh, what, 51? Yeah. Okay. And someone will haul that in. And we got five alignment toward the Circle of Avalon. See, I haven't even got into the diplomacy yet. We don't have a map table yet. Like, I've kind of been just, like, working on the community development aspects and not really on the, um, like, end game progression stuff. Like, we're just, we're just building and um, expanding. But that, that's going to be a really good base. Like, this is going to be a really good base for um, further development. Yeah, so if I keep the cows in the cow pen... Let me think. I will move that. If I keep the cows in the barn and let them out, they can just eat the barley um, in season. Or I can, yeah, I can leave the hay in the fields through the winter. Like that's, I don't, I don't know if that's a good idea. It doesn't, it doesn't decay, so I can't see it hurting. But cut that and cut those as well.
herbs growing again. How many herbs do I have? 181 herbs. That's going to become increasingly important um, as I get into um, the apothecary uh, stuff. There's good quality healing items that are produced with herbs. So you know, that's that's more or less the extent of medieval medicine. It's like here, have you tried rubbing rosemary on it? Like <laughs> here's some basil for your cancer. Like. <laughs> This game doesn't have uh, bloodletting or leeching, which would be hilarious. Oh, yeah, they hauled all that stuff right away. That's good. We're not hauling the other stuff, though, yet. That's what are they? I guess they're going to get all this stone and hauling it now. All the barley, you nitwits. Don't make me tell you individually. <laughs> Settlers are unhappy. Frank is unhappy. Why is Frank unhappy? Doesn't like his clothes. He's deprived of entertainment and religious activity. Okay, well, yeah. I've been neglecting both of those things, really. But this, this great hall will fix the entertainment problems, I'm fairly sure. We're going to have... You know, I can probably put some backgammon tables in the Great Hall, right? That's... They're, ah, they're three units long. Okay. I'll have to find a place to... We'll do a games room. Okay. So, let's take everyone off of harvesting and put them back on their appropriate tasks for now. Edwin will craft, Elmer will craft. Francis is in construction, put Wallace in construction, and Seward's animal husbandry. Uh, Martin will deal with it in a second. Yeva can do animal husbandry. I'll actually have her start doing research again. Um, and I should be cooking priority. Let's get these guys, actually. Martin's got so many damn skills, but we will put him on... Put him on cooking for now as well. Cooking or building. Cooking for now. No, you know what? Let's put Martin on construction. I think that's everybody assigned, right? Yeah, looks like it. Who are my miners? That works out perfectly. No, let's get the mining number two. Hauling number three. Nobody's really hauling, but that's gonna that's gonna slow down production speed over oh they're getting the banners up now in the Great Hall. That's gonna look real nice, I tell ya.
Animal feed numbers are just tanking now. Basically, we need to get a second kitchen going. Which I could do right now, I guess. Uh, where? I guess that's in a crafting. Put a limestone stove. I don't know the difference. It's just aesthetics, I think, right? Between a limestone stove and a limestone block stove. Put it in that corner. Butchering table. Oh, that, that needs flooring. And a fermenting station. How big is the brewing station? It would fit there, but that's kind of weird. Placement. Ooh, they are getting shit done. What the Lone Traveler brings. So the kitchen's there. I'm gonna need to. Yeah, there's going to be food storage in the basement. Once uh, once they're done up there, I'm going to put in a subfloor here. And we'll do a proper wine cellar under the keep. And I think I think they're going to work indoors and underground for most of winter. That's the that's the plan anyway. There's definitely materials there. Meat's rotten on the stockpile. How are they doing with my cooking? They're almost good. Okay, once that once they've produced a um, hundred food, they'll start producing animal feeds. We'll get that number back up. Barley's just sitting out in the. Okay, let's see what this merchant's selling. Looks like general goods. It's only a dog. Could buy another dog. Nah. Um. That's it. Okay. Oh, all the berries are getting harvested too, but nobody's hauling. That's a problem. They're not really mining efficiently, that's for sure. Cancel all that for now, make sure that they mine. Oh. Oops. Whatever. It doesn't technically need a roof, does it? Right now.
barn's getting done. Cow barn. And we make sure the cow has deselected here. That means urgently there's going to need to be a feeding trough. I don't know what that's under. That dog is 46% trained. Okay, we're actually getting animals tamed now. I'm like, I'm starting to get the animal husbandry, animal management. Okay, you know what? There's too much food sitting out. I'm just going to confuse them all. No, that's not going to work. Okay, we got to give them all just a haul priority for a day or two. I don't want to lose any of that good stuff that's that was Why isn't she picking up stuff? She's just picking up stacks and dropping them. That seems problematic. Do I even have the storage? I don't really have the storage space for all this. That might be what's going on too. There isn't enough storage space for all my food. Most of the cabbages. Boy, that's a huge storage too. Completely full. Okay, they're having a little hissy fits there. Uh, yeah, stuff's going to decay in the rain. Not much I can do about that now. Make hay while the sun shines. Uh, bring in your barley when it pours. <laughs> How are we doing here? We got about 10-15 uh, minutes left on this, uh, on this episode, but uh, it's been, uh, I don't know. 
It's been a busy season. There's no question about that. We definitely got some stuff done. When I'm done this, I'm gonna go. Uh, I'm gonna go make. I'm, I'm making a, 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 a gammon pie today. It's, it's exciting. I gotta go do the dough, and then you know, prep the meat and slow cook it. It'll be good. It'll be good. Um, I'll I'll let you know how, how it all. Uh, let let you all know how it turned out. Yeah, we'll say uh, mushrooms. We're leaving. Yeah, so we're completely out of food storage. Okay, that's a problem. That's a big, 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 big problem. Put an interior floor in there so I can Build underneath it. <sighs> Where are my crafters? Uh, and winds. And Elmer. That's okay. And I think everything else I've got in the ground I'm gonna I'm gonna have to let go to seed. Except the barley, of course. We get these cows fed here. Martin, do me a favor and cut this tree down. Thank you. And this tree. Grab it. Boom, there we go. It's a little neater. Well, that didn't last. Not really a... Yeah. Anyway. Anyway. Mushrooms, I don't know how long they last when they're on the stockpile, but... They might do better. Somebody said put mushrooms. Okay.
chairs. That's cool. So Great Hall's not gonna be quite done this uh this episode. Not much I can not much I can do about that, but uh Oh oh <laughs> she immediately went and found the one seat in the castle. <laughs> I, I didn't give them any seating, so I guess that makes them happier or something, right? When they sit down and eat. I don't know. Why is Elmer growing and not crafting or mining? Is it because I ran out of things to mine? I think I, yeah, there's no, oh, beast boy. That's what's going on here. All right, let's give them some mining assignments. Now they can reach all this stuff. Leave the iron in for now, but more merchants. What is Francis up to? Getting... Oh, I guess they're getting stone so they can build more chairs. Willem the merchant. Looks like a weapons merchant if I had to guess what he's up to. Fermenting fruit juice, I assume, turns into wine. The temperature in this room. Just refrigerator temperatures. Things will eventually spoil. But spoiling slower. Summer day nine. Summer day nine. Kind of off-tempo here. I'll let it finish this damn barn. So we just tell them to. Ah, they're they're working on stuff. Oh, they built these uh braziers here. That looks nice. Maybe I will put in a sign. I'm sure are coming along now. That's uh community has improved substantially. Okay, well, uh, I think that's all for me for now. This is uh, Post Modern Cowboy playing Going Medieval, um, Ravensworth Castle. It, it is, um, uh, you know, my attempt to recreate a uh, 14th, 15th century castle um, owned by the Fitzhugh family in England, um, at, located at Richmond. So this is the Richmond Seed, uh, capital R Richmond, uh, for those of you who want to recreate it. Um, Going Medieval is a community management game from Foxy Voxel uh, in the vein of RimWorld or Dwarf Fortress. Um, you check out my other videos, please subscribe to my channel. If you like watching me play these games, um, or if you've got something to contribute, let me know what you think down in the comments. Um, yeah, as always, 
Keep it peaceful out there.